Come on, seriously? It doesn't rain in Southern California. You don't need these. Okay, it is raining out there pretty hard. Actually, it does rain in Southern California. So we do need rain gutters on your house to take the hundreds of gallons of roof water off the roof, into the gutters, through the downspouts, and then hopefully into some ground drains that you may have installed around your house. We get like heavy, heavy rain here. Uh, it's only in the winter time. Not like the East Coast where you get rain every couple days or, you know, and it just lingers and lingers. Out here, it comes down in buckets and I've seen it cause lots of damage uh, on a lot of different houses I've been to. Um, I've seen garages flood while I'm there on the property inspecting it. I've seen all kinds of stuff. So yes, downspouts, gutters, very important for any house in Southern California. Uh, the older your house, the more important these are. A newer home is probably gonna have drainage around it. It's gonna have downspouts already installed in most cases. And these will terminate right inside the drains in the ground, which carries the water right away from the building, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want. But when you're buying an older house, this is not the case. A lot of times older homes are missing gutters um, or the ones that are installed are inadequate, the wrong size. Maybe they're really old and not big enough. Uh, see the distance from here to here is an important factor uh, when you're installing gutters on your house. Depending on the pitch of your roof, uh, this determines how wide you want your gutter. A lot of times I'll show up at an old house, like a home built in 1930s, 1940s, and the gutters are like this wide. They're not doing any good at all. So with that in mind, it's, it's important to have the right size gutters installed by the right person. Um, and I definitely do not recommend buying this. These are uh, plastic vinyl gutters. Um, these just do not last. Every time I see these, unless they were just installed, they're leaking. Falling apart, the sun beats on them. Just like anything else plastic, the sun hits it long enough, it's gonna deteriorate it. Just like PVC piping on plumbing, that's why it shouldn't be exposed to the sun. The UV rays break it all down and damage the material. So this is not a good option. This is like a really cheap option, but you're not gonna get a lot out of it and you're gonna regret it later. So I'm highly against these only because I've seen how poorly they work on a day-to-day -day basis. So try not to buy those. Buy yourself an aluminum gutter, metal gutter, if you got a real fancy house, uh, you can get them in copper. There's all different types of materials you can get the gutters in nowadays. So look, if you're new to my channel, you may not have seen my other videos, but if you're already a subscriber, you've probably seen some other videos I've addressed on certain drainage issues and the importance of drainage. So having gutters is number one, taking the roof water off the roof. Number two is also part of the install is downspouts. Downspouts taking the water down to the foundation is not acceptable. We don't want that. We want the downspouts to terminate underground or have an extension at least six feet taking the water from the side of the building down the, down the side of the building out about six feet and dispersing the water further away from the foundation. Okay, in this next video clip, I'm showing you what can happen to your siding from not having gutters. Check it out. This is what I describe as a vulnerable area for water issues. As you can see, the top roof has no gutters. Definitely recommend putting some gutters right here, all the way down the end, and having a downspout take the water all the way down that wall and terminate um, at the bottom of the house. So, as you can see, this has been patched already. So water is ponding right here. This doesn't have an adequate pitch to bring water all the way out. So another thing we just noticed is that the siding has been affected. Most of the siding touching the roof is rotted all the way down. 
So I'm going to show you an example of how rotted it is. The screwdriver goes right into the wood. I come down this way with that. Show us some more. Yep. Keep going. Yeah, so all the way down here you can see the damage. It's just all cracking and it's kind of caved in. It's got that caved in look to it all the way down. So yeah. As you can see right here. My screwdriver is just sticking right through it. I could probably punch it hard enough and put my hand right through it. So anyway, this is a problem. So now when I get inside, I gotta really take a look at this wall on the inside to see if there's any kind of moisture stains or damage that's obvious and visible. And then to top it off, they put a piece of flashing here, which is also not allowing the water to escape the roof. <laughs> there should be a, a little gutter right here on the bottom, on the fascia board on the opposite of that metal. This is just a not very well thought out installation here. So the importance of rain gutters. I tell people this every day. Put rain gutters on your house, even though it's California. It makes a difference. All those hundreds of gallons of water that rush off this roof, they bounce on this roof and they bounce onto your walls and windows. And that will cause damage over time, guaranteed. So that's it. That's your uh, YouTube video today of rain gutters and the lack thereof. So uh, definitely check your rain gutters before the rain season every year and make sure they're not filled with dirt, debris. They could have granule loss from the shingles in there. They really got to be cleaned out and they got to be pitched properly to work right. So take a good look at your gutters before it rains. And because it's raining so heavy, we've got a completely clogged gutter system here. This, this, this is the time to check your property to see what's going on when it rains. It's good to know these things. Here's a good tip for you. When it is raining, go outside, walk around your property, and just take a look and see if you have ponding water. If you have a bunch of water starting to build up in one area, maybe in the driveway or in the walkways or right up against the house. Take a good look at that and take pictures of it. Because if you call a drainage person or a gutter person, you can show them what actually happens to your house when it is raining. And that's the hardest thing for anyone to figure out when they come to your house when it's dry. Okay, right here uh, on this next video clip I'm gonna show you is the results of the drains in the driveway were completely clogged and I couldn't even see them. I was walking in two inches of water, but I went around the whole property, came into the back door of the garage, and when I opened the door, that's when I realized about five feet in from the, the garage overhead door that opens like this, five feet in was filled with water. So because that driveway drain was clogged, and nobody was cleaning it obviously, and it was really raining heavy, that water had no place else to go but underneath the door, and it worked its way right into the garage. That is just a bad condition. Okay, so here's a benefit of rain. Well, at least, so you can look at your property and see what's going on when it rains. So as you can see, this driveway has got some serious ponding. This water is probably about an inch and a half, two inches deep right here. There's no drain, and the culprit is this downspout. And that water is going right into the garage. And it looks like it's working its way in the garage over here too, which means it's gonna rot away the wood at the bottom of the garage trim on both sides. So this downspout is not in a good place. I'm not sure where they could put it because I don't see any drainage here, but this is going to continue to happen if not if it's not corrected. Maybe maybe angling it out into the grass with a longer extension might work. Hard to say. This is what happens when it rains. You get to look at these things around your house. So if you're home, I suggest you go outside and take a look.
to see what's going on with your property. And this is a lot of water. Look at this. That's a lot of water. Rain or shine, home inspection authority gets it done.